has the instruction before me. Well, you said some incredible things, and I know the one here answers right now mm -hmm. on Facebook. Um, one, one thing you have said, <clears throat> amongst the many things, you said something about on the west side, you are aware of various businesses that new arrival or and for long standing immigrant individuals might own, including mm -hmm. basement style grocery stores. Mm -hmm. Where? This one is like, you know where the R is? Yes. What it was, I was I wasn't looking for this place. I was I was kind of sometimes I just like walking, well, walking, and I was walking, and I and I saw like you know one of the little it was like one of the row houses, little areas, and there was a base there was steps going down the basement, but it wasn't someone's house. It was a store or something. So I go in, and I'm like, yo, it was cool, you know, it was a grocery store, and and then, and then you go in, and it was the basement of this building, um, and then you. It was big, you know, when you walk in the background for that little butcher shop, and they had a, a but, like what they do is, you see usually in these kind of joints, a bunch of uh, free, you know, uh, freezers, chest freezers. So there's a bunch of those, and then you see some freestanding big ones, and then it's narrow and cramped because they're cramming as much stuff as they can in the aisles and stuff. So you see aisles of stuff, stuff I know, stuff I don't know, and, and, and then you get all kinds of things. It, it, a lot of people, there's this thing called betel nut that you do in Thailand. And it's like a, a thing that the old people do and they make a little snuff and they sell betel nut these various ingredients. Well, first you gotta know what all the ingredients are. And I do, and I knew how to make the snuff. But it's weird to see me come in doing that. I'm like, what's your, you, you, know, you know what that's for? But like, yeah, what you gonna do with this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, this, what you do with it? Like, okay, well, what you mind? That I just found out about. Cause what it was is there's a um, some people have heard of CSAs, uh, Community Supported Agriculture, okay. and basically what that is, say you're a farmer out in Angola or something mm -hmm. like that, you got your field and mm -hmm. stuff, and you direct sell to you, mm -hmm. but you're not gonna, you have to pay him ahead of time because he already knows his costs and this right. and this, mm -hmm. so you're part of the CSA club, you and a bunch of other people. So basically, when you see the CSA thing, it's a vegetable thing. Mm -hmm. That's the normal vegetable. And it's not like the grocery store exactly. You gotta just take the vegetables that they do in season vegetables. So whatever the farms are growing around here in the fall, you get the fall vegetables. If you don't like rutabagas, what then? That's tough. <laughs> you know, How like you in the milk share, again, is a new thing that I saw, and it's the same thing. It's, it's the whole CSA, but they're a dairy thing. He has dairy cows, and it's like it sounds like you get you pay to own them to up, help him upkeep his herd. Okay. And when you pay up front, you get um, you get a gallon of milk, you get four gallons of milk a month, and they bring it into they drop it off in the forest or something, forest and something, and they you get your milk. Can, can you get in touch with us? Because I want to talk to you. Okay. Some more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you, sir.